It's been way too long. I've been out of the cage for way too long. I, I needed some time, I'm 24 years old. I've been doing this since I was 13. I've been so focused on MMA, so focused on this being my, my dream that I was gonna graduate high school, be a pro fighter, and that was it. And after I got injured, I pulled out of my last fight, I, did, I took some time, did some soul searching. I quit my job and I road tripped halfway across the country for three weeks. Uh, for three weeks I, I stopped in every city, went to multiple concerts, uh, did a lot of meditating and I really took the time to figure out who I was, what I stood for, what I wanted in life. And, now that it, I came full circle, I'm back, and I know that I'm meant to be a fighter. This is what I need to do, and this is what makes me truly happiest. So this is my comeback fight. I'm 5-0 with Combate, and I've smashed every 105er in front of me. Uh, the next fight for me was supposed to be Elizabeth Lopez. Unfortunately, she's not fighting. She's pregnant, so I'm happy for her. She's starting a new life, uh, but that leaves me with no one at 105. Uh, I plan on going to 115. I want to take on tough girls. The way I see it, I am the queen of combate. I, there's no weight class. I'm the queen. I'm the best and I will jump to any weight class to prove that. Uh, no matter what I'm doing, whether I'm in fight camp or not, dancing is always going to be my favorite thing to do. Uh, I think dancing helps a lot when I'm in fight camp especially. It keeps me happy, it keeps me loose, helps me with my footwork. I get really bad anxiety in fight camps and I, try, I have tendencies of only focusing on the fight. I get really nervous and so with dancing it helps me to stay happy and, and know that, no, I'm doing this because I love it. Uh, Mogwai comes from my coach, Scott Epstein. He gave it to me when I was 18, and he told me, because I'm cute and little, like Mogwai from Gremlins, but then you pour some water on me, feed me after midnight, get under those bright lights in the cage, and I'll turn into a little gremlin. Typical day, I'm eating and training and dancing and playing with my dogs. <laughs> That's my life. I have three dogs. I have a Pomeranian, a Bulldog, and a Teacup Yorkie. I, I've made some really big changes in this fight camp. Um, I moved out, I got a new coach, I got a new management team. I have really good training partners. Uh, I think separating between family and business was a big move for me. Uh, really figuring out my independence in the sport and wanting this win for me and nobody else. Uh, I go in there with the same game plan every time and I tell them I will post my game plan on Instagram. I have no shame that I'm going to go in there, I'm going to strike first, strike fast, go for the takedown and finish you on the ground. I always have a secret weapon in my back pocket and I never say what that weapon is going into a fight, but it's always the same game plan. Always going to be a scrappler, always finishing it on the ground. Women are up and coming with this sport, we're taking over, we have the first almost all female card for combate. Show them how we do it, show them how it's done. Girl power, you need to put on your best performance, look cute, own it, and show them that we can do it better than the boys.